and welcome to Finish Your Business. In our podcast, we leave no business unfinished. I'm your host, Namrata Sethi. This podcast is brought to you by MEGE, which is a joint project of Haga Helia University of Applied Sciences, Helsinki Business College, Alto University, and The Shortcut, funded by Udiman Lito. The project aimed at promoting entrepreneurship with international talent. Today, we have a guest joining us from Business Finland, Pauli Noronen. Welcome to the show, Pauli. Thank you, Namrata. Thank you for nice joining us. Uh, Pauli, if you could please introduce yourself. Okay, thank you very much. So now when we are talking about startups, so I have been working, I would say, in startups or with startups or for startups for 20 years. Because uh, beginning of 2000, I joined a, a startup and then worked in four startups in a row. And then 2007, I joined Tekes, the uh, predecessor of Business Finland. And uh, from that, I have been working with the startups in, in this public organization in supporting the Finnish, Finnish startups. Okay. If you could just let us tell us that uh, what does entrepreneur, pro- entrepreneurship mean to you and why is it important? Oh, that's a, that's quite <laughs> quite a wide question, I would say. Uh, and depends on the point of point of view uh, where you look at it. But uh, what I how I see that uh, entrepreneurship is very much about renewal and developing something new and getting sort of old things better or, or totally tossing them out out of the picture and developing something new instead. And of course, from the uh, society point of view, it means new jobs new business, new revenues, taxes for the uh, governments and so forth. But it's really about renewal and uh, also for young people who start to uh, work on their startup, it's it's a great growth process for them and a place to to grow, to do something else. So it's it's a great thing. And uh, if you could just let tell us that uh, how does your organization help entrepreneurs? Yeah, well, Business Finland helps entrepreneurs many ways, actually. So, of course, Business Finland is uh, is the the government organization in Finland to help uh, entrepreneurs and and also other companies. But uh, we help. Uh, the entrepreneurs as they they grow with the, with the company so that uh, we help them to first, for example, to evaluate the business idea and maybe develop the business idea further. And uh, then when they already have a sort of a, um, some sort of a product available or MVP or whatever initial state product or service, we help them uh, mm-hmm. to evaluate their business idea in international markets so that they can really get uh, feedback from the right customers, not just in Finland, but outside Finnish borders so that they know if their idea is really rock and roll condition or not. Mm -hmm. And uh, next, uh, that that is pretty much the initial phase of the startup uh, with the entrepreneur and uh, when they have evaluated the business idea, maybe polished it a bit, and they decide to continue, they always, companies and startups need to do development, R&D. Yeah. And uh, that's, there we have a very important role to help, uh, help them to develop their products or services or business idea in several phases possibly. And it can take uh, years and uh, actually never ends, so to speak, R&D. And also what we can do, we can help at least the best of the best startups. We can we can provide them support for sales and marketing. So they can really go to international markets and and press the sale button and, and sell and, uh, and growth, grow in the international markets. And uh, that is not also also what we can do uh, for the startups and other companies is that uh, I don't remember the exact number, but we have uh, uh, 
business Finland people in maybe 40, 50 countries around the mm-hmm. globe. Okay. And uh, their sole purpose is to help our customers to find markets, to find partners uh, there. So, so this is quite wide set of services that we can provide mm-hmm. to entrepreneurs and their, their startups. And, uh, and, and there are actually little, little more to than that so that we uh, help them to network with, with each others and so forth. So there's a whole lot of services that we provide to, to entrepreneurs. That's really great. And at what stage can the entrepreneurs come to you? Well, first condition is that there needs to be a company. So there needs okay. to be a Finnish legal entity. Uh, so so Finnish or, or LLC company needs to be in place. Mm-hmm. And uh, when we are talking about startups, so I have seen, um, I don't know, maybe 100, 200 startups in this this work and uh, what we expect from the startups when they first come mm-hmm. is uh, there needs to be first of all a team okay. and team means more than one person so okay. single person is not enough there needs to be a minimum of two persons usually it's like from two to three four persons because the start they start from small and uh, and they grow grow then later but there needs to be a team and the team needs to have a sort of a versatile competency so mm-hmm. that uh, maybe one of them is uh, good in business development and looking mm-hmm. into the markets. Another one is good in uh, in uh, developing the product and, and fitting the market demands to the product. And uh, maybe when we talk about competencies, maybe even, maybe even more important is that they understand what competencies they have and what competencies they need, need in the next phase mm-hmm. so that they don't just collect like uh, software developers, but they need to collect different kinds of uh, uh, people, but of course slowly because there's not so much money. And mm-hmm. uh, of course, the team needs to have an, an innovative product idea mm-hmm. or service idea or business idea because we only want to support uh, those teams who who seem to be competitive in the markets. Otherwise, it would be a waste of anybody's money yeah. to fund them if they would not be competitive and capable to sort of uh, protect their innovation also. And uh, what else? Well, that's that was uh, already... Uh, quite quite much, yeah. But that's that's basically basically it. What you need is the team. Team is always most mm-hmm. important. There's nothing if there's no yeah. good team idea. And uh, and uh, okay, one need one what they need to have. They need to be hungry. They need to right. be uh, hungry for the international markets. Um, and 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 sort of a brave brave enough to make this move. Because again, if a team comes to Business Finland and they say that, uh, yeah, they have this pretty mm-hmm. nice idea and we are going to make this big in Finland. Yeah. Uh, so we say that, okay, you can do that, but we wouldn't be with you because we want to support all the companies who go outside Finland. And right. the reason is is quite clear for that. It is this small Finnish market so it's no use to mm-hmm. to, to invest in in, in, in in a service that or more product that will be only be sold in in Finland. I think that's pretty much the sort of a basic requirements there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With those you can start and then you, mm-hmm. you can develop further. Okay. And uh, whom should they reach out to for this? Sorry? Uh, which department is like basically looking, taking care of this? Uh, you mean uh, how to contact? Yes, yes. Okay, so uh, basically uh, at this point, uh, I'd say that if there's a totally new team uh, in the uh, Business Finland website, we have a certain uh, link or, or, or uh, 
way to, to approach business finance so that you describe your initial idea, what mm-hmm. are you planning to do, what are you planning to reach, and mm-hmm. uh, what you already have. And that's a good point. Then we have a group of uh, specialists who look into this and see, and evaluate what is the status the team is at the moment and whom they should discuss next. So later on, when they they would become possibly our funding customers, they could then have their own contact to discuss okay. in, in the future with them. But uh, that link is uh, the first one to, to look into and uh, file your information, so where it starts. Okay. And can you tell us a little more about Startup Visa? Tempo and like R and D loans. Absolutely. So uh, now, when you mentioned startup visa, we can start from that. So uh, uh, there are so many, so many um, words how to describe what is startup visa in, in in Finland. We the long term is residence permit for uh, startup entrepreneur, mm-hmm. and which is yeah. which is <laughs> set in the law actually, and. Uh, the idea behind that is that this is really in the in the law at the moment. The idea is that uh, using a certain process, mm-hmm. uh, the international startup teams can more easily get the uh, residence permit to to come to Finland and establish their company here. So this is actually meant for startup teams and entrepreneurs or founders outside EU or European economic area because the people living in these, these areas, they, are, they can come to Finland and establish their company. There's no, no problem with that. Mm-hmm. But if you are outside EU, outside European economic area, you need to apply for a residence permit. Okay. And if you plan to establish a startup, you, you apply for this, uh, this, this one. Uh, residence permit for startup entrepreneur, and uh, there's actually uh, so this residence permit is applied from in Finnish Immigration Service, but uh, today it happens so that in order to apply for this specific residence permit from Immigration Service or MICRI as we call them briefly, so you would need a, uh, an uh, opinion or statement mm-hmm. from Business Finland okay. uh, to, to, at that, to be attached to that application to MICRI. Mm-hmm. So when you plan to come outside through the EU to Finland to start up, this type is a startup, you approach, approach Business Finland first. Okay. Again, our website, you can find this mechanism you apply for sorry about these long terms but what can I do about the no other? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so you have to apply for this uh, eligibility statement for the startup uh, okay. uh, residence okay. permit and uh, for that you 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 need to do something and when you if you get this positive mm-hmm. statement from us then you can uh, contact MICRI and apply for the residence permit itself. Okay. And um, yeah, it's quite, it's quite straightforward to apply for this our statement. It's the first step. There are full documentation on our website and it's quite straightforward. There's one word template you fill in, okay. provide some uh, CVs of the founders and paper copies of the founders and file it for the application and within a week, mm-hmm. uh, maximum two, you get our reply mm-hmm. either we see this team um, and their business idea eligible for our statement or not. And uh, then if you got the statement, you can proceed with the mikri. Mm-hmm. So we have had this pro- process for uh, three years now and we have received maybe a uh, I'd say about 400, 500 applications. Wow. It's quite a lot yeah. from 50 countries at least. Okay, that's a lot. Yes, and 
I say, okay, I, I don't love statistics so much, but I've calculated that uh, more than 50, more than 50 Finnish companies has been established by these teams who have come from outside Finland so far, and many are in the process. So okay. it's a great, great process. Yeah. So this is the startup visa or, or startup mm-hmm. permit, as we call it in business Finland. Yeah. If you have, do you have any more questions about that, or can we go to the stem yeah. one? Uh, yes, let's go to tempo and R. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Very good. So, when you were asking about these services that we provide to our customers, I mentioned that uh, there's this uh, this phase where we help the startup to go to international markets and evaluate their business mm-hmm. business idea. Tempo. Is, okay, Tempo is just a name, but it's the name of this funding tool that we use uh, to provide funding for companies uh, to, to, to do this evaluation of business idea. Okay. And now I have to remind you one thing which is important, just, uh, just came to my mind, that, that funding is really important part of our services, especially to startups, because mm-hmm money is always needed mm. but our funding is project funding which means that uh, the comp- there needs to be a company who applies for it mm-hmm. but they have to provide a project plan and uh, all that and the costs project costs and we can then fund part of the costs of the project we don't invest in companies remember okay. we never invest in companies we never take share of the company mm-hmm. and uh, and which is very important uh, for the team, the, for the t- founders, but it's also very important for the investors mm-hmm. because we don't take any share uh, of, the, of the startup. But that's okay. That was just something. Mm-hmm. But really, in, in Tempo, it's all about going outside Finland and evaluating your business idea there or. Mm-hmm. In practice, it means that, for example, you have a software product. Mm-hmm. Uh, you you need to find some customers outside Finland, whatever country is mm-hmm. best for you or market is best for you. You find some some good pilot customers there and uh, and have them join your your solution, okay. so that uh, you get real real um, feedback. Is this good or not? Or what needs to be done to make it better? Okay. That's what Tempo is all about. So you can use the cost money for for salaries to make some development, and you can make, use the salaries for, for example, uh, purchasing uh, market studies or whatever. So there, there are lots of details related to that. But anyway, okay. anyway, and. Uh, it's pretty good money. It's fifty thousand euro grant, and okay. uh, what what the company needs? The company needs to have thirty thousand euro mm-hmm. equity. Also, okay. they uh, because that shows that uh, of course business Finland, Finland never can fund one hundred percent anybody's project. Mm-hmm. But also, this thirty thousand proves to us that somebody. Somebody else is believing in this, <laughs> and this Finland. So the team, possibly, or some investors. But anyway, this is the rule. So this is tempo, and uh, and we have so many tempos annually. I don't know, must be a thousand, two thousand oh. tempo projects <laughs> happen every year. And uh, I have also had lots of tens of tempo customers earlier. Now I'm working with this this startup visa stuff. 100% so at the moment. Okay, and uh, I mentioned that there's this sort of a roadmap of startup funding, so this uh, evaluating your business idea outside mm-hmm. and are, then developing the product because it always needs development. So typically after Tempo, it comes a phase of R&D, mm-hmm. uh, which means that uh, we, we provide funding for the R&D project. And uh, okay. this is a little difficult, uh, sorry, different. Mm-hmm. Tempo, for, Tempo was grant, which means that you, you, you spend the money, you need to pay it back. 
but for R and D, our offering is actually low, okay. and uh, that typically needs to be paid back also. Only in very rare cases, the funding for R and D can be uh, grant, and uh, when it can be grant is rather when you are not developing an end product to be sold, mm -hmm. but you develop an, uh, a technology uh, which it will be used in next phase in you know, the project mm -hmm. to to make a, a good product. So it mm -hmm. may sound a little complicated, but it's not so complicated. Okay, okay. For some people, a loan may sound like a dangerous thing. That okay, government is providing loan. What does that mean? But uh, I can I can assure you that the business Finland loan is very soft loan. Mm -hmm. uh, it's real money. It doesn't mean that it wouldn't be real money. It's real money. <laughs> <laughs> sure, and you can buy services that pay salaries with it. But uh, it is soft in that sense that at the moment the interest of the loan is only one percent. Okay. And uh, and because because it it's provided for these R and D purposes, so so the interest inter, the interest is very low. And uh, also, okay, the payback day comes one day. But uh, if, for example, the uh, development, uh, the product that you, that you developed mm -hmm. fails, okay. and you don't get commercial markets rapidly, we can be very flexible in. in providing more time to pay back and so forth, so forth. So it's really soft, soft loan. And uh, it's also soft loan in that sense. I would say that uh, today and already sometime uh, investors, uh, also international investors, are not uh, afraid of this, that Finnish government provides loans to startups. Because it's their uh, benefit also that we, we, we support the team to grow their company and then somebody comes and wants to share it. So, yeah. okay, but well, that's R&D. Okay. Um, next step, you, you say if we don't have any more time, but, but about this funding, we have this one tool left, sure. which is, uh, I mentioned that there's this Evaluation, business idea, R&D. The next phase typically is that when you, your, your product or service is mm -hmm. good enough and is scalable enough and really competitive on the markets, you need to go out really and push the sales button and start to grow the business. Mm -hmm. And for that purpose, we have a funding tool also, which is called Young Innovative Company Funding. Okay. And uh, uh, that's very interesting tool. Uh, the criteria to get it is quite tight. So maybe 40 to 50 companies maximum mm -hmm. get annually into that program. Okay. But then it's then it's a half a million euro grant. A grant, mm -hmm. good money. Yeah, that's uh, very good money. <laughs> <laughs> 750,000 euro loan. Okay. And... Uh, it's not exactly so soft loan as the uh, R&D loan, but it's also quite soft. But anyway, uh, you can decide how much you take, but uh, altogether more than 1 million euros. And you can really spend it for sales and marketing, which is not allowed to do when you are doing R&D or mm -hmm. tempo. You are not allowed okay. to do selling or marketing with that money. But in this particular funding uh, case, you really, you should use all this money to say some marketing. So that's what I told my customers who were in that program and they were asking that, can we use this for R&D? Mm -hmm. Yes, by the rule you can, but I deny you, you need to go to sell, sell, and, sell and market because this money is for that purpose. Yeah. So please do it. So, okay, but that's, that's about this funding. Maybe there are some some other other options also, but it's it's some details that will be that will be then uh, if you start your company and, and, and business with business Finland. So, but these are the main 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 tools that we are using in the funding case, and then then we can really provide access to our mm -hmm. 
global network outside Finland in 40, 50 countries, and then they can help you to find the markets and and uh, partners and, and so forth there. So I would say that uh, we have a quite good offering yeah. for startups, really. And all you need is to have a good story. All right. <laughs> and I mean a real story. Yeah, that's true. You can't bluff, but uh, you need to have a good business story and resources to do it. And like what kind of companies and projects are eligible for Tempo and R&D loans? Yeah, well, so for Tempo, it's, it's, uh, it's really what you need to get Tempo is that, as I mentioned in the beginning already, that you need to have this good team with the versatile yeah. uh, competencies, minimum two persons, a single person is not a team and mm -hmm. uh, definitely not, not eligible for any funding from us. But uh, this team, this business idea and, and resources in general so that they have uh, R&D resources available, either their own or they can hire, hire some outsiders and so forth. And uh, that uh, Sorry, they are really capable to reach the international market. So mm -hmm. it's, um, yeah, uh, that, that's it. That's what it takes, really. And this needs to be this Finnish legal entity. Okay. Otherwise, it's, it's an old okay. And uh, for R&D, it's the same. Okay, when, when the company has this tempo funding, mm -hmm. we agree about certain goals for this project. Okay. The goals can be, for example, that you, during this tempo project, you have two or three uh, pilot uh, customers in, in these countries that we agree about. During this project, you raise like, I don't know how much, like, mm -hmm. example, 50,000 euros or 100,000 euros, it depends on the case. Okay. Or the goal is to, to hire a new marketing uh, guy or something like that. And uh, when, when this tempo funding goes, a project goes well, then, then the company can come and uh, apply for R&D funding. And uh, of course, they need to have a good plan. What yeah. are they going to yeah. do? What are they going to reach with this project? But they also need to have resources personal resources, but also some funding available because, again, we don't fund 100% of the mm -hmm. project, but let's say roughly that uh, in R&D case, the team of the company should have about 50% of the project uh, budget available mm -hmm. by themselves from the, from the own bank account or, or investors or something like that. So. Yeah, so then they can go to this, but uh, this R and D, and for this young innovative company funding, that's that's quite strict because then they need uh, some track record of uh, okay. markets already that they have been capable to sell their product or service, and they have sort of proved that their business really scales, right. so that uh, it's a scalable, a scalable business mm -hmm. they are running, and when they have enough proof which may mean like, uh, for example, it could be like, don't remember the numbers because they are, they yeah. are, they are just examples, okay? Sure. Yeah. But uh, it could be like 300,000 euro revenues a year and okay. then you are ready for this young innovative company funding. But that's always case by case. So okay. 300,000 is not something you should remember, but get the idea. All right. And uh, what kind of co-investments business Finland requires? <clears throat> yes. So in the case of Tempo, Tempo it's uh, still quite simple that uh, I mentioned this 30,000 equity and it can come from uh, the founders themselves mm -hmm. or, or their friends or some business aces or whatever. So it's, it's still a quite limited amount of funding. Uh, in the R&D, when the requirement is 50% of the budget roughly, then it depends how big is this R&D project, because they can be also uh, uh, 
like from 150,000 euros to millions of euros. So, so the requirement can be really big. If you have a 2 million euro R&D project, you would need to show that you have resources for 1 million uh, funds from elsewhere. And, uh, and uh, so it depends. The bigger the project, the more you need funding from our own sources or other sources. And uh, Finnish species, Finnish business is very much support our startups. Right. Yes. And, uh, and they are familiar to business Finland. So we have, uh, Finland is so small that we all know each other. Yes. So <laughs> at least, <laughs> at least in the business, business environment so that, uh, we have constant discussion with them. So, yeah. And uh, also, when uh, the company is more mature, like it's like four years, five years, mm-hmm. and maybe it's already in this young innovative company funding, also it is possible that they have raised our funds uh, several hundreds of mm-hmm. thousands, or maybe one million euros, something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, at that point, or maybe even when, when they, they have raised only uh, half a million from Business Finland, we start to look into the balance between public and uh, private funding. So we just we may require that, okay, if you want this, this project funding from us, mm-hmm. now we have put so much money in this company from Business Finland that you need you need to raise this much private funding. It can be, it depends on the case again, but it can require that you need to raise 250K mm-hmm. from private uh, investors or 500K or whatever. And and they just need to find this money because for us, it is not allowed to allowed to be the sole in uh, fund, funding, funding agency for the company. They need to find private funds also and uh, today we had the luck that Finnish startups as we have seen in the news uh, get yeah. get quite easily <laughs> go to money from the private markets so, yeah thank you for sharing these tips that's a lot of uh, good for our listeners and uh, okay. one last question would be what advice would you give to entrepreneurs in five words Five words. Oh, I didn't prepare for that. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to gain like a ball from the sky. But uh, uh, I don't know. Be open, be brave. Uh, so it's really, uh, I, 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 it's, it's too few words. It's few words. <laughs> you, could, you could go longer <laughs> if you would want to. <laughs> Absolutely, but uh, but I have had the joy to be working with so many great startup teams, and uh, I have seen so many startup teams that have already sold their business once, and then then uh, after a month they come back to me and they say, okay, now we have a new business idea and we want to start it. So so it's a it's a great great uh, time of life when people can start their own businesses and. Uh, and really, Finland is a great place to do that. And our yes. startup, economy, startup ecosystem is, is really great and flexible and supportive. Yeah. And also Business Finland and the investors. So, I don't know, enjoy life. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good. All right. Thank, thank you so much for joining us, Pauli Noronen, and sharing all... Uh, the important views and uh, thank you for joining us thank you very much uh, for this opportunity and i hope that i i could give something to the audience by these these humble words but uh but i i, I love to work with startups and i know they love to work this the entrepreneurs love to work their startups also so it's great great right. thank you, thank you.